Hello. Here is a, a typical hip x-ray that we see after a hip replacement. Uh, nicely the base of the spine, which is the horizontal line, is fairly level. Uh, there's a little um, offset at the sacroiliac joint, uh, which um, which which looks lower on the on the right side the the hip height is actually higher we sort of focus on the uh, top of the prosthesis after the hip replacement on the right um, I've got you know 173 millimeters on that side compared to the uh, an approximate same uh, weight-bearing surface of 161, so that would show about a 11, I mean 12 millimeter or um, uh, half inch uh, longer uh, right leg, and this is standing weight-bearing uh, X-ray um, because the, the sacral base is level. It's unclear how much lift to give. You have to sort of um, go very gradually and slow, probably start with an eighth of an inch under the left side and see how the, the spine tolerates. The patient is in pain, uh, so we can, we can follow pain as our guide. You can also see the offset of the pelvis. If I drew a line straight down the spine, uh, which is a vertical line, to right down the center. And you can see how at the uh, p uh, pubic symphysis in the front of the spine, or front of the pelvis, uh, the, how it's offset to the right. So there's some pelvic obliquity going on at the sacroiliac joint and at the symphysis pubis. So there's some issues going on besides just a straight short leg. Uh, so I hope this uh, helps uh, you understand the complexity post hip replacement surgery.